Well, there's certainly lots to talk about with Vision Pro in Vision OS. I think we've kind of glossed over a brand new technology that Apple's never really introduced before in any previous product. And that would come to the actual speakers on the side of Vision Pro. They're not AirPods, but they're not quite like desktop monitors either. And they're not HomePod tech. There's something in between that actually got me thinking a lot about what future iterations of the product could have or how that may spill over into future products we have and seen. Let's begin. So of course, Apple wants to have an all-in-one design approach, right? They wanted it to look slick, seamless, so that you could just drop this device on your head and suddenly you can see everything, but also hear some things. Probably would have been really easy for them to just leave that part out and say, wear AirPods with this device. Honestly, if you're the kind of person to drop $3,500 on Vision Pro, you're also probably the type of person that would already have AirPods Pro, at least, or maybe some of you AirPods Max. Would love to see how that crazy setup would look, AirPods Max and Vision Pro simultaneously just fully immersed in the spatial audio, spatial computing space that Apple builds for us. I don't want to look at the real world, I just want to look at what Apple wants me to look at in here. But no, they decided to keep it all integrated and just have these little pods that are definitely bigger than a pair of AirPods, but certainly smaller than the tweeters you would find on a pair of AirPods Max. And somehow, by not covering your ears, but by channeling audio to your ears from the side, People who have tried out the headset have said this sounds really good and is somewhat immersive. And this allows you to basically be in transparency mode at all times, constantly aware of what's going on around you because your ears are not sealed, while simultaneously being able to get a rich audio experience from the headset itself. This is one thing in particular that I'm very, very interested in trying because I imagine, sure, the benefits of not having to also put in headphones when strapping something to your face would be kind of nice, but I could also see the downside of this being a lot of the audio bleed through, you know? If you're wearing it and someone else isn't, they're probably gonna hear something less than flattering that's kinda like someone in the corner watching a video on their phone and a little bit of sound coming out of the speaker, but not too much. It's probably gonna be somewhat of an experience like that, which can get annoying pretty quickly, like where you start going, hey, can, can you put in headphones? I don't wanna hear what you're listening to. Unless Apple has found a way to make this extremely directional audio where it doesn't bleed through too much, maybe this could be a future like Fitness Plus style accessory that's a sweatband with speakers on the side and it channels audio into your ears but still allows you to stay connected with those around you. Maybe that would be substantially better than just relying on the speakers built into your phone and unlike Vision Pro it would likely be a lot more affordable and a lot more passive. Plus with all of that headband space you could probably get way better battery life than you could out of just a pair of AirPods. But the funny thing is when Apple was showcasing how Vision Pro worked when you were flying with it of course you don't want to disturb the passengers around you so the person is wearing the headset and putting AirPods Pro in simultaneously to fully immerse themselves in the whole Apple spatial environment, but that gets me wondering, if Vision Pro is supposed to kind of be like headphones for your eyes, isn't a lot of our future with this headset going to be involved with us just seeing one thing, whoever's wearing it can see it, and that means only you should really be able to hear it. If the long-term idea is for this to become more passive, like almost to the point if it's just a pair of glasses, I don't think if the future is a lot of us using this in public or around others, having a dedicated pair of speakers on the outside is really necessary. Maybe for this first generation product where it's meant to just be used usually by yourself, they're always demoing it with one guy at a desk or one person in a hotel room. In that case, sure, having a pair of speakers on your head that other people around you can hear isn't that big a deal, but as this becomes more and more passive and maybe as it gets slimmer and cheaper, I think it might actually start to make a lot more sense to start integrating maybe over your headphones to the headset itself so you get those little AirPods Max style cups on the side or perhaps a cheaper solution would be to have somewhat of a wired version of AirPods Pro that is attached to the headset that you can manually put in your ears so that you get active noise cancellation if you want and it would pull its power from either the battery pack in your pocket or if in the future they find a way to integrate the battery pack onto the headset itself you would just have AirPods with a much longer battery life I suppose depending on how inefficient the headset itself gets. But I think this is new territory for Apple in terms of the speaker space, but I've always been impressed with the original HomePod 
sound quality and I love my AirPod sound quality as well as the sound quality I get out of my MacBook speakers. So I'm sure that Apple has some state-of-the-art audio technicians that have been working on Vision Pro, but it's just one aspect of the design that I think brings a lot of questions about the future. Should individual AirPods eventually be integrated into the headset itself or for the sake of a cheaper version like Apple Vision Air or Apple Vision SE in the future, do you think they should just drop the speakers and say, eh, just rely on your own AirPods in the first place. And if you don't have your own AirPods, you're probably not the kind of person to buy this headset in the first place. Is that too restrictive? Is that blocking people out of outside the ecosystem? Hey, at least Vision Pro should have Bluetooth. So even if you don't have AirPods, you should be able to pair it with any pair of Bluetooth earbuds, AirPods or not, which I think could instantly knock a lot of money off of the price of this product if the goal is to get it more accessible and more affordable to the masses. I'd love to speculate along with you guys. So please comment down below your thoughts and thank you to everybody supporting this channel directly. It seriously helps us out a ton as does just watching these videos. So thanks again. This is your Apple Sheep here and I will see you all in the next one.